what does it mean to have properly filtered water and why it is vital to your health? I'm Marissa Fay. I'm a hormone and gut health expert. I help women reverse and reduce their symptoms and actually feel better. I do mention a lot in my posts the importance of properly filtered water, and I've posted way back like what that means, but I'm going to give a refresher because there are new folks here. The first thing you really need to know is that things like Brita or Pure, P-U-R, they're not doing shit for you. I mean, they're better than nothing, but they're really not benefiting you as much as you need. Part of this is because we drink water all day long and our body needs it to survive. It's actually one of the first things that I often encourage my clients and students to change in their home. The first thing is you can go to this website and actually look up what is in your tap water and the risks based on what's in your tap water. Well, for example, here is what is in Denver City water. There are 11 chemicals at least or contaminants that exceed health guidelines and 34 contaminants that you should be concerned about. When you scroll down, you can see some of those contaminants and the magnitude of how much is in your water. Let's just look at this one, TTHM. These are in my water at 153 times the recommended upper limit. And one of the potential risks is cancer. This is why the whole Flint, Michigan thing and, you know, the more stories that are coming out about really shitty tap water in low income areas is so fucked up. Because what's in your tap water could literally lead to what causes you to die. So if you can afford it, you need to be properly filtering that water or picking up some kind of natural spring water source. My favorite options for filters going from most affordable to more of an investment, clearly filtered, the pitcher, they almost always are running a special code that you can use. It's usually under $75. I also do like the aqua gear, but you need to make sure that there's not fluoride in your water if you're going to use that one because that filter does not filter out fluoride. Next in line is my beloved Berkey. The Berkey has been around forever almost, but you do wanna make sure you get the added fluoride filter again if fluoride is in your water. And actually that filter, there's a doctor, Dr. Campbell. He did a test of the Berkey with the fluoride filter against another popular filter. And Berkey totally outperformed this like high tech filter that that uses reverse osmosis technology because the Berkey filter is a gravity filter, meaning like water just sits from the top and goes through the filter and drips into the bottom. Next, if you can do it, I do recommend filters for your shower and your bath. Honestly, those just get something. It's better than nothing. I use one from Pure One. I do love the Berkey shower filter, but they've been sold out forever. But at least something that takes care of chlorine. 